Hi, you guys. Today we are going to read one of the many amazing animal books we have in the library. This one is about bison. And I learned a lot reading this story today. I did not know that there were bison in the Europe also that go by a different name. This is a 3.4 AR reading level. Let's get started. There's our quiz number. If you're taking the AR test, I will put it in the notes of the video also. Isn't that a beautiful picture? I went to Yellowstone National Park this summer for a day and I'm going to attach a few pictures that I took in Yellowstone at the end of this video for you guys. There we go. Only about 1,000 adult vicin live in the wild today. Bison are big animals related to cows. There are two species of bison. The American bison lives in the United States and Canada. It is the largest land animal in North America. The Vicent, Vicent lives on the continent of Europe. So they, it looks like Weisent, but they say Vicent because it's a German word. Okay, continent, one of Earth's seven big pieces of land and species, kinds of animals that look alike and can have young together. That is a cool picture of that bison. A bison's body is covered with thick brown and black fur. Both male and female bisons have horns on their heads. American bison have a big hump on their shoulders. A male bison's head has more of a triangle shape than the female. But see that hump? That's only in the American bison. They don't have that big of a hump in the European bison. American bison can weigh more than 2,000 pounds, 907 kilograms. They are about six and a half feet or two meters tall. Vicent usually have longer legs than American bison. All bison can run up to 35 miles an hour over a short space. They can get going really fast. Running bison make a loud noise that sounds like thunder. Plains and wood bison are the two kinds of American bison. Most American bison live in the, nor the Western North America. Some live in forests, others live on plains. The Vicent lives in woods in parts of Eastern Europe. Plains are large flat areas of land with few trees. This is a, an example of the bison running on the plains. A bison's main food is grass. Sometimes bison eat twigs or bark too. In the winter, bison use their big heads to push snow off the grass. When animals feed on grass, it's called grazing. So bison are herbivores, they don't eat meat. I love this picture of the mama bison with the baby. A female bison gives birth to one baby at a time. The baby is called a calf. The calf can run a few hours after it's born. It has to watch out for wolves and bears. Bison can live 25 years in the wild. Bison calves are generally born in April and May, so in the spring. Bison live in bands of 20 to 60 animals. Sometimes many bands come together to make a herd. A herd might have hundreds or thousands of bison. Look at that group of bison running. Herds of bison walk together to find food. Bands are groups of animals. That's a really cool picture of the bison herd. Bison like to roll in the dirt holes called wallows. The dirt helps them cool off. It keeps their skin safe from bug bites. If bison get scared, they might stampede or run as fast as they can. Bison roll around in dirt that is dry or muddy. 
There were once millions of American bison. People killed almost all of them. Today, the biggest groups of wild bison live in Yellowstone National Park. Some people go there to see them. Others see bison at zoos. It is fun to watch these shaggy animals eat, sleep, and wallow. People called the American Indians hunted bison for food. The bison were hunted by Indians for food, but when white men came to America, they started hunting them more just for game and sport, and that's why there were so few left now. A bison story. I love how at the end of each of these books, there's a story. Why do bison have humps? American Indians used to tell a story about this. They said that bison father told his calf to stay out of the brown grass where the birds lived, but the calf went into the brown grass. This made the creator mad. He put a stick on the calf's shoulder. Soon a big hump grew in that spot. From then on, all bisons had humps. American Indians are the first people to live in the North America before white people came. That's a cool picture. And I liked this page on Read More. If you want to pause it and you can go to any of these websites you like. I did go to the Enchanted Learning website and they have a coloring page about bison. National Geographic Kids. And we had a really fun time in Yellowstone this summer, but we only saw two bison. We saw a lot of elk, but the bison were not out in public. They were kind of hiding in the trees that day, I guess. But I will share those pictures with you guys.